into the CT start. Mobby Star Riders getting quickly into the short control. Alex and Mopos leading it early on into connector as well. The wraparound team of Sphinx might be involved here with the opening kill. Indeed, he does draw first blood, but only that one frag is traded so quickly here. Uh, this is so quick from the T side, and it's allowing Ents to just get into rotating positions. Snappy playing incredibly passive, up to the position, seeing that information, but just getting tapped up by Steel, and now the kill's just flying through for the T side. Deer and Alu, last couple of players left. Alu on the site itself can wrap in to deny the bomb. Plant seeing Mopos tapping his head off his shoulders. Back to a 2v2 we go, but the second player is way too far back, and as Alu domes the next head, it's all left on Smuya. One on two situation. Creeping closer in the mid position, knowing that that bomb's been dropped, having no info on where D is playing from, can only guess at Alu's angle. Checking that truck position to get that headshot in, that could be a D. Salve galera de boa, Soma que está fortalecendo o canal novamente e está com novidades incríveis para vocês. Mais códigos para vocês tentarem a sorte e conseguirem tentar retirar a skin de graça. Não esqueça de utilizar os três códigos da descrição e aproveitar o site completo. Muitas skins de CSGO e variados jogos diferentes para vocês ganharem. Caso não tenha certo item, você pode fazer a troca no próprio site e resgatá-lo, ou também vender se caso queira. Tem vários modos de pagamento e depósito. Você sendo prêmio no site também, rapaziada, você terá diversos benefícios e mais vantagens. Soma Case, primeiro link na descrição. Yeah, just basic pistols involved and should be easy pickings for the SMG. The M4s coming up, dealing with two of Alu, Alex, and Snappy going back and forth with the rifle defensive at the 35 second marker. Seeing one shoulder bay aim too low, looking at the fighter rather than two. The uh, bathroom's position, four versus three, and still have the man advantage. The bomb plant can be secure from here. Yeah, get that bomb down, just try and play out the 3v4, but they've got to get an advantage quickly, and Sphinx is already here in rotation. Still, and Alex now have to try and clutch back a 2v4. Sphinx can take another kill on the round. Alex now the last one left, spots the first player pushing through that smoke, needs to try and follow up. That's the second, but he needs to see if he can find any more. Doesn't quite happen, a big round. Uh, that one AK being picked up from Dotto from that last round. Sphinx, a little bit of an off angle to deal with the bathrooms. Oh, great shot from Steel, though. Running Sphinx, Alu, unable to get his shots in either. Alex follows suit to the 5v3. That's two rifles picked up for Mobby Star Riders as well. And a bomb plant that should be secured. Again, Mobby Star getting a lot of cash out of getting these sites under their contention. It's all a case of holding off against the retakes. Plant down. Do Ents even want to go for this here? Will they even bother for this retake? They're being very slow and tentative about it. It doesn't look like their hearts are in it. Yeah, it's a bit of hesitation, but it seems like the save call has got to be the one to come out. And it's going to hurt them when it comes to the loss bonus. They're on, what, single round loss bonus of only 1,400. So in terms of Alu and Spinks' investment into the next round, it's going to be very difficult indeed. Having a bit of a late crack, and just trying to see if they can find some exit kills up on the site, but they lose even more. What an eco this has been from the T side. Yeah, three casualties and Dotto and Snappy finally getting out of dodge to save a half by round going the way of the T's and maybe Mopos can make it a fourth kill. So we're going to challenge them to this A side though, so they've made the right call. Oh, these AKs can do damage. Snappy's got a great angle, gets a body tap in, can't quite convert the kill. And now Sphinx has got a strike, but he's not able to do so. Oh, but Smuya continuing to tap on Alu, that last AK being seen. Dotto trying to wrap back in from the dumpster area as Alu falls in bathrooms, and now it leaves it all on the Deagle. Tagged so early in this uh, B defensive. Now to the retake to A. No kit, no utility, and no chance, it seems. Does get that one exit. But that the monster position. Dotto caught flashed out. Mopo's also going to get flashed out by his own teammates here. A little bit of miscoordination on the utility basis. Alex round of that corner as Dia watches with the AUG. M4 of Dotto swings. Alex gets one and two. Looking for the triple. Not quite. Still there to follow it up, however. A four versus two situation making it one as Spinks also drops. Alu's grip into the site, though. Can't... He still aggresses pretty far forward. Still, actually, the AK that moves out here. Gets that first frag on Spinks, but Alu there with a quick response. Dia falling in turn on Mopo's part on short control. One of the three defenders to the B site falling. The one of them is going to wrap around though. Toto extending all the way up Monster and the T's weren't ready for it. Once again, the pistols are doing pretty decent damage for Ents, but they're unable to maintain the man advantage. Maybe Alu can find a response. Yes, he can. That's one more frag to his name, but his snappy fall is all going to be left on the AWP. And Alex, first casualty as well to the hands of Mopoz. 
Snappy and Alu on opposite sides of this uh, short control M4 burst. Up Mopos will be able to go and find the secondary kill as a result. Alu can't get anything with the auto shotgun. Just below that smoke, his feet show. So the spray is good enough to leave two standing on the CT side. Entz losing one more in D is part smoothie with that simple kill. And a Mobby Star Rider showing a little bit more than what they had in the early game. Having a lead now. All five the bathroom's position and maintaining that control, just looking to have that execution happen. You're right about that smoke, but it's not going on the dumpster. It's going to cross instead. Steel tagged up to 12 points of HP. Molotov to force him all away. Smuya watching more positions. Pinks gets that kill in. Steel gets overwhelmed as well. One player left in the back as the mid player gets mopped up. 2v5 for this retake. Uh, this is done. What first casualty in round 21. Mobby Star Riders look so thinned out across their line now. Ents. Have flanking positions on Steel. Steel ducks down. Does catch not so at least. Looking for the second player back here. Doubles up. All right. That's a two for one trade. Mobby Star Riders back in the round. Beautiful play. And Alex might even be able to find a pick out from Long. This is turned around completely. After the first pick was found from Dia, the flash over the top to provide some safety from Steel to get back into the site. Now, Snappy's been able to slow walk and crouch his way down out towards a grill position, but he's got to be able to find a multi frag. AK not seeing the shadow of the player on water does catch him in the end. See that man behind him and Mopos still gets the frag. All to Alu. Or pin a one versus four. We'll try grab that bomb. But will not be able to win this round, I don't think. He'll try. Exits might be pretty decent. Goes for his shots, but being faced in by two M4 steel. We'll get his triple. And get the and the A players haven't really shown themselves either. Like, this AWP from Sumi has been holding the angle for so long. Eventually starts moving back over towards the side, but it's going to be a fake from Dia. He's going to try and bring the rotations up towards A, and he's doing a good job in doing so. Two players as anchors up towards A, and a third player in rotation. And there's the kill in for the Orpa. Two for nothing trade. Spinks. Looking to act alongside his teammates. Counterflash is coming in for the CT side, though. Alu's blind and he can't push that uh, support in anymore. Snappy's got to wait with that bomb back. Will now make his way up to the site, but as Sphinx goes down, it's a 5v2. And they know that they're at the disadvantage and a major one of that with 13 seconds. Alu being the last player, knowing that this round is virtually impossible. He will get exits, but to hold on to the weapon is going to be his main concern. They won't even let him get away with that. Some sort of distraction player finds Smuya. Oh, and they actually find Shocks instead. Caught with the AK, turned away, trying to play anti flash but just dry faces in, he's to a four versus four. Alex makes it three though, and Mopos gets overwhelmed. So he pistols again, events doing some pretty decent damage, but as that bomb gets dropped, Steel now knows another play back at water, and he gets his 2k. The uh, left with all of it to do, trying to play that luck in mid, now trying to play the recovery in this clutch scenario, and tapping with the Deagle, they know where he is. Uh, just hoping for a bit of a wall bank spam, but yeah, this, this round is pretty much done. Maybe if Dia was in with the pack out towards the monster in short position, then could have been a bit of a chance in. Oh, gets close towards that jump spot. Doesn't know about the player in short water, though. Yeah, they have given quite a lot of breathing room back to this Movistar side. The Riders. I think a great sense of what's going on right now. Three rounds in the lead, and now the opening pick. Fall of the favor of Smoo here as he catches the uh, shocks is traded, though. Gotto takes damage, and Mopoz goes falling in trade. So three on three. He did find a kill back on Sphinx in that monster position, but the B-side's been cleared out. Uh, they know that there's a late lurk coming out from the monster position, and still has got the high ground out from heaven. This has got to be smoked, or at least been taken a fight here from the T-side to be able to take that position away. Snappy now putting nades up on towards the site. They don't know about the short player, though. Will he swing or will it rest on Alu and Snappy? To hold off the defensive steal. Moving up, Alu gets him. Snappy saved by his main man. 2v2. Smooth is all wrapping over. Might have to try and catch off the Dane. Alex is looking for his way in as well from the short position, but no player is going to get given up the ghost upon. Alex creeps, Smuya sees the gun barrel, knows what to do, get that frag in, now look for Alu back in water. They don't think he's repositioned, and eventually he misses his spray so the defuse can be stuck, the kill can come back, and it will be map point for Mobby Star. At the scoreline would have been very different than where it is now. Small differences having big impacts.
Big impact kill on Shocks, immediately dealing with Dotto and taking away the short presence that Entz wanted. First man falling and Shocks is happy to fall away. His own right, get back into the defensive and look at Mopoz. He could find two kills. He's seen them both burst through. That's two doubled up. Two left for the T side. A good shot from D is connected, but Smuya with the orb actually doesn't connect to Alu. So a window opportunity brought back by Entz, but they've got to make the sight hit work so well. And that bomb rotating back into mid. If he doesn't read steel, it'll be all over. And this is a really nice angle for Steel to work with because if he doesn't spot out the player coming out from Tcon, you're almost expecting footsteps to be made in connector, at least when they run out towards the top of it. Movistar Rider's right leaving two players as anchors out towards the B site. 50 seconds still left on the clock. Ends have a lot of time to work with, and even Steel started to reposition now. If I want back even more passive, but that might aid him if they make their way out of connector. M4 keeping his eyes on Tcon. Do they make any noise? They don't. Doesn't stop him peeking in, leaving it all on Dia. 1v3 at 48 points of HP. Has got an uncontested site itself, so he can get a bomb plant in, but his concern will be the retake. Now get that bomb down and just play it out from there. Still coming in so damn quickly in from behind and forcing Dia to go further back, more passive in towards his bank position. And he's got to be able to isolate the one versus one. First player peeking out from Shocks, gets caught off out from the dumpster position, but more util can go down towards his bank position and they can just stick this bomb. Dia's got to swing out to the open, trying to see if he can take the jaw onto Alex, but it doesn't come through. 16 to 11, up from Movie Star Riders. Take here we go into the pistol round for our second map. Movistar lead by a margin of one. Let's see whether Entz can turn this back to a third map. Well, that's a good start for Alex to immediately put them on the back foot. Snappy down in the brown halls. Plenty more T-side presence here. They'll know that he's sitting at upper at the uh, heaven entrance. Will he continue facing? Yes, he will. Baiting out bullets, baiting out positions and information, but not getting those frags in on the Entz. Not able to follow up. Yeah, that was well played from the CTs. You get aggro towards the brown holes and then you kind of back off. You don't keep fighting. Now you have two anchors out towards the B side. And for Entz, they're just looking to try and commit to a B side XE. TT base is held together. Waiting for them to wrap over this USP of Alex. Still ready for more. Has seen contact. Has seen those pixels, but is unable to land the kill shots. Just damaged under Spinks and Alu. Mopoz, Alex is three. Will take some in return as Alex goes down. Mopoz traded by Dotto and Spinks doubles up to a three versus two. Ents might have lost that opening pick, but they've gained the execution. Looking solid. The bomb has gone down, but Steel and Shocks still want to go for the retake. And Shocks. Leading that charge, Steel's got to be the man that stays in play. He's got the kit on his back. And that bomb being seen out there. Taps through the clock, sees the one, takes it down. Can't get Steel, however, in this round. Tap on the bomb, trying to force out a defeat. Thinking he's there at upper. Ooh, Shocks has been able to start off with a USP kill. Allo dealing with the first frag turned around by Alex instead. Two for ones. Damage again done to the pistol players. But what? they're getting away with a man advantage. Alex. Secondary pick. Snappy knows that he's low out here to old hell. Should be an easy affair to deal with him. Now both pits are going to try swing and try and isolate this player. Burst through and steal finally goes falling. But Alex still left with the AK in play. Versus two. Unfortunately, he doesn't get his third pick. That's the right call at the right moment. Shock swinging out a pop dog. If he gets Dotto next, and that might be another kill that they can return to. Dotto's going to hunt the steal as well. Do damage. Take more to return. Is Backside sticking out towards the player coming out of Tcon. Dotto still isolates, gets his secondary frag. So Enter found those trades, but Smuya able to respond at least. A boost up from Mopoz. You've got to wonder whether the T side are going to check this position. At least Mopoz is providing some safety out from Alex with the AWP, looking to continue to do damage. But they know that he's here. They can swing around. The no scope comes in now. Alex trying to get a double no scope. Enter putting down a heaven wrap smoke, but they've got to commit here, and Mopoz has got a good angle to deal with them. M4 gets his kill in, looks for his next player. Alu will be able to trade it, but Smuya there with a response. Dia now bomb out in the open. Smuya actually doesn't land that flick, but still is there to spot back in with a lack of utility sets here for the T side. Doesn't stop Alu from getting the orb pick out of Pop Dog. Serious damage done to Dia as Dotto is fallen in trades. So a four on four, and Spinks goes down to Shocks as part of things, knowing that Alu's still there and Pop Dog. His teammates are wrapping back around, so as long as he drills his attention back, this should be an easy kill for the AUG. Mopod struggles with it, but he maintains the round alongside Alex at Ivy. Snappy all alone. One on three at the e box position, the bomb's on his back. Swings back to try and see if he can catch that AWPer, but it's not going. Ents on that back foot still. 
fourth out here for Alex. Let's get over one with the pistols, but Shox lines up those two frags on the AUG. Two kills found. Dotto trains it, actually. 3v3, M4 in his hands. And again, Ents faces a tactical pause. Now the right of the pistols in to deal with the rifles, but unfortunately, despite their best efforts, they're still going to fall apart. Crossfire with him. Smooth is ready with the orb back over the IV control, expecting there to be T-side presence, but also gets caught off guard. So it'll be a three on two. Shox. Needs to hold off on Snappy and Dotto here. This M4 trying to people to smoke. Takes the fight. Ivy wins it against Dia. Now gets top of the dumpster. See Snappy next. AK oh! lights him up for Mob. Directly, so we could find a line in, but that smoke is also up there. They are going to consider the counter rotations. Again, Ents, last second, committing back from the B site into A. D has got a strike on towards at least one player. I think that Orpa is now watching position. Alex indeed gets that kill. Shock drops the bomb steal. Follows suit from Ebox. One player left standing in Alu. 1v5 for him to make happen. And he knows as well as everybody else that this is virtually impossible. Mopods will creep around the back lines. Oh, the Orpa misses its kill as well. Molotov's a Triforce one away is meanwhile aggressing into the A site, into T-Con. There's going to be a kill for Steel. Mopoz will be traded. That all for Smuya still waits back there. AK makes his way through the smoke here at Pop Dog. Snappy gets two frags. Smuya responds, but it's him and Alex. The orbs in play on their respective site defenses, but I think they realize that A is going to be where the plant comes down. Yeah, that was a puggy tactic to come through from Snappy, but it worked well, pushing through that Pop Smoke and catching the CTs just sleeping. Alex and Smuya, I mean, might as well have a crack at this 2v3. They got money. And that orb almost connects its shot. Snappy forcing Alex down on HP, forcing him away from position. Smuya trying to re-aggress back here from T-Con. Oh, sorry, from regular Con. And a half on the timer. For the bomb to tick by. Smuya with the incendiary is also towards Pop Dog. Looking back over towards Red, expecting there to be a T-side player out there. Snappy swings, however. Hearing that noise being made, Alex gets one exit frag to keep the economy limited for Ents, but now has to save the AWP because the clutch is off the table for him, and even Snappy gets that kill. A bit of aggression in towards the brown holes coming through from the city side, but a rush out from the A side. Spinks just coming straight out towards that pop dog position, and then continuing to move up towards A. Sprays back the shocks, hoping for a bit more. Dotto gets his kill in. Mopos comes into the back lines that the SMG deals with too. Shocks gets traded and Mopos gets found <laughs> through the smoke. So it's all on Smuya. Now he's absolutely got to go for the clutch. Seeing Alu has dominion over the bomb here, actually. Ends have left that crucial piece away from him. But counter smokes back. We'll try and see if they can stop him. Nades doing damage and he grabs that bomb, gets back into the site. We'll get that bomb plant. And I think Smuya. Where does he go about this? How does he go for this retake? Uh, just wait for that smoke to dissipate. Try and hope that one of the T-side players is just going to push out towards the open. But this is such an impossible clutch in a 1v3. Alu's getting somewhat aggressive towards the front of Ben Red. So there is a chance of getting that first pick. There's another swing coming out from the Olaf position that should be able to trade out the Orpa. smear has got a kit in front of him. They should be aware that they're there. Smoke's up, flashes over 45 seconds. The hit is going to come through. Uh, this late lurk from Ivy could be the difference maker here from the T side. They've already pulled so many distractions away from out from Pop and uh, the T cold position that the CT's attention is just drawn there. No one has any idea about Mopoz. Alu gets his pick now. Mopoz chance to strike. He's got a creep slowly you know, to make sure to he doesn't give away the information. Indeed, that kill comes in easy. Spinks and Snappy, two deagles left, one player being seen. Spinks reveals his position by getting a dome down on shocks. That's a decent frag. But do Ents have the retake? Again, no kits. Again, a 3v2. This time, not as nearly, not as, nearly as amazing an amount of advantage as what we had from the uh, previous one. Getting rid of that uh, all enough for Mars to make sure the T's don't get their hands on it or the CT's don't get their hands on it. The AK's been recovered by Snappy, though, so if he just keeps his life in this round, he's already going to be in with a pretty decent eco basis. Binks hoping to get something out of this. Caught by Alex. And Snappy just holding onto that AK going into the eco round, they'll have a bonus. I just I just wanna Flash in, Dotto ducked down with the M4, first two on D gets that first frag. Alex and Mopos trade it. Two for one. Yes, they're tagged, but they are alive. And Mopos knows as he sees Spinks 
The M4 should have been in position, turned away from the wall. Sandwich, it allows Steel the perfect window to get the kill in. And now Snappy, lone player on the bomb site itself, is backed up by Alu at Old Bomb. That ought peek into the open. Alex having no idea the CT's up here so close to the default plant position. 20 seconds, the bomb's been dropped, and the T's can't get here that quickly. They're running out of time. Does that kill secure the round here for the CT side? I think it does. Mopos gets the pick back. Alu unknown. I think he was spotted. The bomb can go down now. And the orb is left to clutch, creeping closer out the e-box, seeing the shadow, getting Mopos. And now Steel's got to play for time. One flashing utility wall bangs attempted through the e-box. The USP knows that he can win it. Out here, taps through oh. Steel. Steel win. Up a bracket. Nate's coming in towards that takeoff position. Alex flying out, does get a one-on-one -on -one trade early on. Alu looking to hunt for a fag on the USP. Smooth as seen. Goes falling, actually. Shocks take the two points of health thanks to his jewel on Snappy, but he has opened up the B site at least. So they can put that bomb into position. Deer is moving up to the pop dog angles. The Deagle also dealing with steel. Okay, this got real interesting. Shocks is barely holding himself together. That bomb's been dropped as well. Mopoz swinging back out. There's now an AWP for Alu to play with. He looks back to the site. Deer gets dealt with. Oh no. Movi Star Riders might be getting a taste of their own medicine. Shocks, 2 HP to clutch a 1v2 situation. Uh, this is near impossible. Uh, he's going to have to hit some ridiculous shots or just get some really good timing onto these CT players. Dia has even got the right idea that he's coming up towards his heaven position. Deagle on lock. Shocks can't quite get the bullet towards a headshot. An eighth round being won by Ed. In this half, but Alex has made his way in sandwich. Damaged up for it, but could be on to get a kill. Still, meanwhile, get snappy. That completely discombobulates the A site. Right around Dotto's going to get caught off by the AK as a result. Good execute. Bomb's gone down. And now it's one player left in Alu. The kills. So efficient. So easy for Mobby Star. They're like flies in the desert, Jay. They're just everywhere. Look like, what's going on there. They've run out from... T for the uh, overtime rifle, I guess probably because they realized that seven rounds in a row is going to be... Virtually impossible, if not like, shockingly difficult. Alex, first frag, tanks of the Eagle shot back at Ivy, knowing that Dotto's out there. Nades going down to his position as well. Dotto still smoking. And the Glock close, could get overwhelmed by the pistol in Dotto's part. Seeing him at the edge of the smoke, and Dotto actually catches the kill. So it's a one for one trade. But T still acting here towards the A side. They still want to isolate these picks. Dotto back at Ivy, dealt with by Moppers. AK swing D actually finds that pick. Three on three scenario here. Oh, Alu's found another one, so Mopos is going to have to strike with a little bit more of a follow-up in terms of a multi-kill. Now he knows there's a player up towards mid-bomb, an important kill onto Dia, but someone's going to have to go back and get that bomb. Timing is everything for Snappy. This should be the oh! kill! Oh no! The turnaround comes in! Shocks! I can't believe he spins like that! That is the ultimate timing play in this game! Shocks! Is he French? I don't think so. He looks like one though. Alu. The Orpa looking up here from Old Bomb, trying to check the default position. Mopos are held though. Does Alu check that angle? He doesn't. It's over. Gone. Looking to try and take a duel pretty much straight away up from the sandwich position. He's found a lot of success from this angle. It's Mopos that steals the kill away. Dia can follow suit on steel. The Famas upstairs up in the heaven position. Spinks will get a trade back as Dia ends up dropping. Three on three. He's so low. The Deagle and the SMG might be required. And the SMG does come up good. Famas caught off. Mopos misses his shot, actually. Escaped there by Spinks. Smuya taking damage as well. Bomb on his back out of the T-Con control. Mopos going to try and go ahead and regroup with his teammate. Have been suppressed for Ents. Finding themselves a couple of survival picks. If they get Mopos to drop, that might be enough to secure the round. But the AK and the Famas completely evade each other. Now they've seen what's going on, and Spinks goes falling for it. If they can get that bomb down, this is probably where they start to really do in the damage. Dotto and Stappy coming in for the same position, and Smooth is just hoping they don't swing out from Con. <gasps> Couldn't hit the shot, couldn't plant the bomb though, the Dotto's real close as well, no scope, tagging, Mopoz gets his frag, all to Snappy, his AK in tow, turns it to a 1v1 against Smooya, oh, and he lands! 